Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. I'm Mandy. Today, I'm going to show you how to make red bean paste, which is a dessert filling that is popular in Chinese cuisine. You could buy it in a package from Asian markets, but homemade always tastes better. I've got here 150 grams of red beans. Rinse them under running water to wash off the dust. If you see any broken beans, just pick them out. I'm going to use an instant pot, which is also a pressure cooker, so I don't have to pre-soak the beans. But if you don't have a pressure cooker, then you will have to soak them overnight. Then simmer them over the stove for two to three hours because red beans are very tough. They take a long time to turn soft. Red beans go in, follow up with two and a half cup of water. Instant Pot is used really well, so you don't really need that much water. But if you are simmering the beans over the stove, you will need a lot more liquid due to the evaporation. I will add an optional ingredient, chen pi, which is aged tangerine peel. It provides a fruity citrus sense. If you don't have it, you can skip it or use some fresh orange peel without the white bitter layer. Switch the knob to the sealing position. Press the porridge button. Use the highest pressure. Adjust the cooking time to 30 minutes. You will need about an hour in total because it takes time for the Instant Pot to pressurize and it takes time to depressurize as well. When you are done, the beans should look like this. Check the texture. You should be able to crush it easily. Let it cool until lukewarm. Pour the beans and the cooking liquid into the blender cup. We want to use as little water as the blender needs. Don't add extra, otherwise it will take much longer to evaporate the moisture later. The puree is really thick that you have to use your spatula to stir it multiple times for it to blend evenly. Pour it into a nonstick pot. This is the texture that you're looking for. Thick and creamy. Add a third teaspoon of salt, 40 grams of cooking oil, 120 grams of brown sugar, and squeeze half tablespoon of lemon juice. A little bit acid will help to invert the sugar and change the texture of the red bean paste. Now we will go to my least favorite part, stirring. This will take about 20 minutes or longer if you used a lot of water before. I usually divide this process into three stages. You can have the heat on medium or medium high at the first stage because the mixture is wet and runny, but you have to stir it fast to prevent those vicious bubbles. If you don't stir it fast enough, the red bean paste will explode like volcanoes. As the moisture evaporates, the paste becomes less runny. You can see it starts separating from the bottom of the non-stick pot, but it is still quite sticky to the spatula. That is what I call the second stage. Now you can turn the heat too low so you don't burn it. My arm is so sore now and I'm start wondering, have you liked the video yet? If not, please hit the like button if you love red bean paste dessert. All right, the paste becomes so much solid now and it doesn't stick to your spatula anymore. That is what I call the third stage, done. Let's turn off the heat. You can use this to make lots of traditional Chinese dessert, such as mochi ball, steamed buns, moon cake, zhongzi, and sesame balls. Leave a comment below and let me know what's your favorite dessert. All right, as for now, I'm just gonna put it in a sealed container. It will stay good for up to a week in the fridge and 
three months in the freezer. I hope you give this a try soon and make sure you watch my next video because I'm going to show you how to use it to make the classic red bean paste steam buns. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!